Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Skye and my husband Chad and I own an online interior decor shop called House and Home. And over on this channel we love to share all things home from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. This is my 2021 spring home tour and I can't wait to show you how I've decorated our home for spring. I have been decorating for the last couple of weeks and it just turned out so pretty and so I'm really excited to share it with you and hopefully give you some early spring decorating inspiration. This video is extra special because I'm teaming up with some of my favorite women over here on YouTube and we are all sharing our spring home tours today. And not only that, but we're also giving two of you the opportunity to win a shop credit to house and home, not just any shop credit, a pretty decent size shop credit, a $175 shop credit. We're giving two of these away. This is the biggest giveaway that we have ever done over here on our channel, so I definitely encourage you to enter. Entering is so easy. All you need to do is go to each of our channels and subscribe, then watch our home tours and comment on each of our videos letting us know what your favorite part of our spring home tour was. Maybe it's a favorite room that's in our home or a favorite piece of decor that we used. It could be any of those, but it's so easy. Three simple steps and you're entered. The giveaway winners will be announced next Saturday. So we've got one whole week worth of time for you guys to get through these home tours, but I really think that you're going to love them and that they're gonna give you loads and loads of spring decorating inspiration. All right, friends. Now it's time to grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and cozy up as I bring you into our home. I really hope you enjoy. This is the entrance of our home. Now, it hasn't always looked this way. In fact, when we first purchased this home, it was a dark space. Even given all of the windows and the fact that it is a two-story foyer, there was dark slate on the ground and the walls were a dark golden and brown color. And we knew that over time, we really wanted to make this space feel light and inviting. So we have done so many DIY projects little by little over the last four years to make this space really feel like the entrance that we had always envisioned it could be. My husband built these beadboard accent walls and we added these peg rails to the top so that I could add some of my favorite decor and be able to utilize these hooks for our coats and things like that. Now we do actually have a coat closet that we store our coats in and we have some shoe storage in a little bench that you'll see here in just a little bit. That way we can kind of keep things tucked away and organized. For me, it's just an out of sight, out of mind type of thing. And when my home is cluttered, it just really makes my mind cluttered. So I like to have a designated place for everything. Another recent project that we did in this space was getting the staircase painted and replacing our carpet. The carpet used to be dark brown and we replaced it with something much lighter. My husband also extended the beadboard accent wall all the way up the staircase and created a little shelf for me to be able to put some of my picture frames up there and I really love it. It does separate all of the white and just really gives some cozy texture and character to the entrance of our home. This is the little area where we have our DIY IKEA bench and my husband created a cushion seat for the top and then each of these little baskets actually pull out and that's where we store all of our shoes. One common question that we get asked all the time and maybe something that you're even thinking right now is how do we keep our house so white and bright with three kids and we also have a dog? And the answer is honestly so simple. Everything is washable, paint can be touched up, our couches and our furniture are all slip covered. So it's really simple to keep it looking like this. Here you can see our sunken down front room of the home which actually functions as a playroom and a living room for us 
As our kids get older, it'll probably transition into more of a formal living room, or we've even talked about putting French doors in that space and closing it off and making it an office. We recently made some big changes in that space as well, and I love how it turned out and how it flows so nicely into the entryway. Now, something I wanted to mention is here you may notice that the decor is a little bit different than what I just showed you. You may notice that as we go throughout my home today with owning our own home decor shop, oftentimes our decor is changing because we're getting new pieces into the shop and part of our YouTube channel is styling those pieces in our home and giving decorating ideas and inspiration. So I may include a couple of different ways that I've decorated each of these spaces in my home over the last couple of weeks. And here is just a panoramic view. If you're standing in our front door, these are the different spaces that you're gonna see. We do have a very open floor plan, which is something that drew us to this home. So here again is our playroom slash living room. It's a very functional space for our family. We spend a lot of time in this room and we've got some great toy storage in here. We also have a sleeper sofa that we put in here for when family is visiting. All of our family lives out of town. So that was something that was just really convenient for us to be able to have in this space. And we also have a piano. This is something Something that we're hoping that we're going to be able to teach our kids over the years and it was a fun DIY that we did a couple of months back it used to be a cherry wood piano and we added some shiplap and painted it white and I think that it just is the perfect little addition to this space we also love our rug from Boutique Rugs, which was a new addition to this room. It covers the space perfectly and is so soft and cozy. And then we just added some different little elements that are fun for the kids, like the ABC banner over the piano. And here we are in our dining room. So you can see how it opens up so nicely to our playroom and to the front of our home. And then there's also a doorway that goes right into our kitchen. This is a space that we gather to play games. I oftentimes work in this space. We also gather here when we have family coming to visit, but it's not our everyday table. So I get to have fun in here, playing with different centerpieces and decorating it just how I'd like and not having to worry about it getting dirty or messed up. So this is kind of one of my fun rooms in our house. I love playing with these shelves and styling them with each new season. I love how they're decorated for spring right now. They're just so neutral. They're from Ikea. We've had them up for years and they're just one of my favorite features in our home because they're so practical. I get to store my dishes and some of my decor on here and we can take things down as we need to use them. I also love these little candle holders. They're found pieces that we just added to our shop and they're just absolutely stunning. I love to mix some old and some new. So these books are made to look a little bit aged and I think those are pretty too, also from our shop. This is our little coffee bar area and this space has transformed a lot over the last couple of years. We added this faux brick wall and then we painted it white. We added a peg rail shelf to hang some of my mugs and my decor and then we painted that old piece of furniture that you saw uh, sitting there as our little table. Now here we are in our kitchen. This is the heart of our home. This is where we spend the majority of our time. We have three little kiddos ages six, four, and two. And so if I'm not making a meal, I'm making a snack or doing dishes. So this space used to be really dark and not so inviting and so we added shiplap to the walls we painted the walls and the cabinets pure white by sherwin williams we replaced all of the appliances the light fixtures the faucets and then of course added some hardware to the cabinetry we knocked down some cabinets on the left side of the sink and added this diy peg rail shelf this is a diy that we actually filmed on our channel 
so you can go and check that out if you're interested. It's such a functional way for me to be able to store some of our kitchen goods and also to have them out uh, just for decor to be able to look at and to enjoy. And that way they're not hidden or tucked away and they're easily accessible. I also have this little spot that's kind of tucked away in a corner in our kitchen. We're actually planning to put our microwave here and to build a wooden vent hood right over our stove. That's an upcoming project. So if you want to see that, we'll definitely be filming that on our channel. I love all of our signs here in our kitchen. The bakery sign and the kitchen sign are both from our shop and we actually have a matching laundry sign that you can see all the way in the back hallway we recently painted our pantry door and our front entry door and I love the contrast against the white and then here is our living room this is a two-story living room and we have done so much in here when we bought this house the wood on the walls was actually a dark brown color it's not true shiplap but we painted it white to look like shiplap and then we did the German schmear technique on our fireplace. And then we also cut down some trees in our backyard and stuffed our fireplace with logs. And it really just gives such a cozy feel in this space. This room is another one of those rooms that we spend so much of our time in. And then this is where we eat. So we have an Ikea kitchen table with a bench and four chairs. And this is just where we gather for food. It's really simple and uh, it just works for us. But this room, honestly, like I said, has just come so far. We do have a video on our channel that features the before and after shots of all of the different rooms in our home. And it's such a fun video. So if you like the fixer upper style videos, I would definitely recommend checking that out. I loved adding lots of different pops of greens and florals in my home for spring this year. I think this bunny is the cutest. He is also from our shop, but he did sell out. Now we're gonna take a peek into our little half bath that is downstairs on the main floor. This bathroom has also seen many changes over the last couple of years. We added shiplap and painted this room pure white, just like our kitchen, and just added some different pieces and elements to give some texture to this space and not make it feel so white or sterile. I added this pretty basket from Target with some eucalyptus and some washcloths. And then we have some hooks hanging on the wall here. This is what you'll see right when you open the door to this room. And I just threw up a Turkish towel with one of our amber glass cleaner bottles, a pretty little eucalyptus wreath from Target, and another tea towel just again to add some dimension, to add some texture, and cozy up this little room. This light fixture is from Amazon, and this is a recent update that we just put in here right after Christmas, and I love it. Our pharmacy mirror is also from Amazon, and it's always something I get questions about. It is such a great mirror. Oftentimes, I'll have decor or little spray bottles on the mirror shelf. And I just added more of these really pretty eucalyptus and berry stems from Target to a glass jug. I didn't want this space to feel too cluttered and I feel like glass just adds a great little opportunity to have some decor, but it's not overwhelming and it definitely doesn't give that cluttered look. We have our water closet sign from Target and then our hand soap dispenser from our shop and then also a little reed diffuser from our shop as well. It smells amazing every time you open the bathroom door. It's just such a fresh and relaxing scent. So this is our little half bath. I think it turned out perfectly. I'm loving all of the spring elements in here and I hope that it gives you some inspiration if you have a small bathroom like ours.
And the last space that I wanted to bring you all into today is our master bedroom. Like the other rooms in our home, this one has truly transformed since we bought this house. I really wanted a cozy cottage feel in here and I wanted it to feel like a retreat and a place that my husband and I could come at the end of a long day and just really relax and recharge. So I wanted to add a lot of different textures in this space and make it just really feel cozy and inviting. I wanted to mix together a lot of different wooden tones with some whites and some creams, again, just to make it feel really, really relaxing. And I love how it turned out. This scroll is from Cottonwood Shanty and it is my favorite. I had one over our bed at Christmas time that was more of a Christmas theme and it was so beautiful, but it adds a nice contrast on the white shiplap. And then just some simple, simple, bedding. Our bedding is from Target. The throw pillow, the lumbar throw pillow is from our shop and the bed frame and headboard is from Pier 1 several years ago and the lamps are the same as what we have downstairs on our piano. About a month ago, I put together a capsule wardrobe. And if you're not familiar with that term, I do have a video on our channel where I detailed what a capsule wardrobe is, how to create one, and so on. But essentially, for me, it has been a time saver and a money saver. So we purchased these big cabinets from Ikea. They were already painted this color, which is so beautiful. It almost matches our front door and our pantry door downstairs so we were immediately hooked. It has so much character from the paneling inside the glass doors and then also just the different brass knobs. It's absolutely gorgeous and so I love this addition to our bedroom. Okay friends, that wraps up my spring home tour. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. If it was your first time over on my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. It would just be so fun to have you be a part of my YouTube family. And don't forget to go down to my video description where you can see all of the different amazing women that are a part of this spring home tour collab. Go and watch their videos videos and enter for a chance to win one of two $175 shop credits to house and home. How amazing would that be to get a big shop credit to go shopping and buy some home decor to refresh your home for spring. Again, thank you all so much for being here and I look forward to seeing you next time. Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of